Uh, welcome everybody to our last uh, talk on this week on nine house geometry and integral systems. Alexei, please. Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, so this lecture, uh, I hope uh, it will be uh, quite elementary because we are going to discuss just two by two matrices. Uh, uh, that uh, that's uh, kind of very simple object. Of course, uh, the entries uh, of these matrices will depend on coordinates, just of two coordinates x and y. And I will start with uh, uh, so with a quick reminder. Uh, so what is GL regular and uh, some formulas. So what is uh, so what is uh, the GL, GL regular operator in dimension two, and uh, then so after I remind you the definition, so we will talk about the local classification and normal forms. Uh, in the, in this case, uh, everything can be done completely, so we will be able to describe all. Uh, normal forms and uh, and uh, so based on uh, this knowledge uh, so next step uh, there is to understand the structure of singular set where uh, eigenvalues collide uh, so what happens and uh, uh, and uh, next uh, uh, so we will discuss global examples and uh, uh, probably even uh, that's still a conjecture uh, that, that I will give you complete description of such operators uh, on close to dimensional uh, surfaces. And uh, we will see that uh, there are uh, very natural abstractions to the existence of such operators on such surfaces. Not all of them admit uh, uh, these operators. Uh, the, the one important remark, uh, all the objects we are going to discuss today will be real analytic. And uh, uh, the reason, uh, so there are two reasons. Uh, first of all, the, so if uh, we relax this condition and uh, only assume smoothness, then the, the, there will be kind of more examples since indeed. And, uh, and for uh, that very simple reason, you remember so singularities of smooth functions so, so can be very the nasty and uh, and uh, that's uh, that's a little bit different story and uh, but not only that uh, uh, the point is uh, that we are going to so we use uh, uh, some techniques which uh, I explained in my uh, first pre-recorded uh, lecture, uh, the companion normal form and uh, things like that. And, uh, the, and these techniques, uh, they, they, uh, they require using that analysis of some uh, quasi-linear systems, and uh, so if these systems are not hyperbolic, uh, uh, if eigenvalues are the uh, complex number, so then uh, actually, so the, the, the only tool which is available to us at least, it's cauchy kovalevsky theorem, and, uh, and for this reason, so we need uh, the real analyticity. Okay, uh, so the, what is uh, the GL, the, the regular operator? So in general, so the, this is just the, the matrix, uh, the matrix understood as a matrix of a linear operator. Uh, so, so the under coordinate transformations uh, so this matrix <clears throat> uh, transforms uh, in this way, so by means of similarity transformation. So we can consider the uh, orbit uh, of, of this matrix uh, of this matrix with respect to this transformation, and we'll say that, uh, that this uh, this matrix is. Uh, uh, so regular if uh, this orbit has maximal dimension. This maximal dimension uh, for n by n matrix equals n square minus n. Uh, as I told you in my uh, first uh, pre-recorded lecture, second lecture of our course, uh, this uh, condition uh, maybe is not so convenient to use. Uh, so better condition is the following. So if we uh, look at uh, Jordan normal form, of, uh, of, of of this operator of this matrix and then the, each eigenvalue uh, so it must have only one uh, Jordan block so eigenvalues may 
each yeah eigenvalues may collide they they may have uh, arbitrary algebraic multiplicity but uh, geometric multiplicity the number of jordan blocks also must be equal to one uh, uh, so in dimension two it, it's very easy to understand which uh, operators are uh, gl regular which are not uh, we, we have uh, basically four possibilities uh, either two uh, real uh, eigenvalues lambda mu which are distinct uh, different from each other or so we have two complex conjugate eigenvalues so with uh, imaginary part uh, different from zero uh, or so we have jordan block or so we have uh, just scalar matrix uh, so lambda identity and uh, only the, the, this last case uh, there is a sort of is a bad situation uh, which is not gl regular so all the others are uh, gl regular um, I, uh, I like uh, also to this picture to illustrate uh, so what's going on to, uh, it's, it's a three-dimensional picture not four-dimensional matrices they form four-dimensional space but I uh, for simplicity I, I can draw a four-dimensional picture so this is three-dimensional with additional condition that the trace is uh, zero it's not a gl uh, to r but uh, sl to r so each matrix uh, is defined by three parameters and uh, i represent it as a point in three-dimensional space and what do you see here the, to these surfaces uh, these are orbits exactly uh, the, the, these are level surfaces for the invariant function which is uh, in this case which is a determinant of metric a hey, and you can clearly see all types uh, of uh, the, the matrices so it's one sheet hyperboloids uh, they represent matrices with uh, uh, two different uh, real eigenvalues so, uh, two sheet hyperboloids uh, so these are orbits of matrices with complex eigenvalues so the there is cone here the so cone uh, it's a jordan block and uh, the uh, the the only kind of bad uh, not regular matrix is uh, is just zero it's a one point orbit so all the other orbits so have dimension two so uh uh, okay, just conclusion uh, uh, an operator L on a two dimensional manifold is uh, GL regular. So, if uh, there are no singular points of scalar type, you remember I had, uh, discussed uh, such points uh, in my uh, at my uh, the lecture on Monday. So, uh, so, but such singularities are forbidden, uh, everything else is allowed. Good, and uh, two more uh, the formulas which we are going to use today. Uh, uh, the first uh, the theorem uh, about companion form. The average GL regular nine case operator so can be reduced uh, to the companion form and uh, in dimension two, it's just the matrices of this kind, it's very simple. Uh, the, it depends on sort of two how to say parameters or two functions uh, v and u they are not arbitrary uh, but satisfy so this uh, system of uh, pds uh, uh, yeah and so what we see here so, it, so the, these formulas are related to very special uh, the coordinate system well companion coordinate system uh, and and one more for, for formula uh, that's um, the magic formula. Oh no, it's it's not it's not magic formula, but it follows from magic formula. So it, it's uh, the following point. It's a criterion, very nice criterion uh, for uh, for an operator to be in nine hues in dimension two. Uh, the take uh, just arbitrary coordinate system. So uh, then, so L is so the matrix A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D are some functions of two variables. Uh, take uh, the trace and uh, the determinant uh, for uh, this matrix of A, D minus B, C and A plus D. So we have two functions. And if these two functions satisfy uh, so this relation, uh, this is the differential of the determinant. This is differential of uh, uh, the trace and uh, this matrix here uh, do, do you can easily recognize it uh, so if you compute uh, the inverse of l you 
you need to take the so-called so first companion, uh, uh, so what is called co matrix, and uh, then the so-called edge gate matrix. And this is exactly edge gate matrix. If you divide it by the determinant, you will get uh, the, the inverse. Uh, that I uh, mentioned this formula in the pre-recorded lecture two uh, as uh, as a property of nine Hewitt separators. But in dimension two, uh, this is if and only if. Uh, so if uh, this property holds, uh, then L is uh, nine Hewitt. Okay. Uh, so what we are going to do first? Uh, the, we are going to describe all possible, all normal forms. So so a local normal forms. So to me, in that sort, we take. Uh, a point uh, and that we want to find uh, the the best coordinate system uh, in the neighborhood of this point uh, without uh, any uh, assumptions uh, uh, that the, the, the about the behavior of our operator at this point. So it's the point uh, that what is important uh, uh, to understand. So we are interested in singular points where eigenvalues collide and uh, they collide in unpredictable manner, let's say. And that we are going to describe all possible scenarios. But of course, uh, first we uh, need to uh, explain what happens if eigenvalues do not uh, collide in the sense uh, that uh, our point is non-singular, uh, non uh, no, no collisions. So they eigenvalues uh, to make inside, but uh, they uh, then if they can side, they can side in the whole neighborhood. So that's uh, so-called uh, algebraically generic case. And uh, now here, so since uh, there are three essentially different possibilities, uh, the, these cases are as follows. Now first, uh, two uh, uh, real uh, eigenvalues uh, which are uh, to, which are not equal to each other, so to, they are different. So then, uh, this is a standard uh, uh, the Hantius theorem. Our operators who can be diagonalized uh, uh, can be reduced to this form. And if you play a little bit, uh, if you know, the, the, these functions f and g are real analytic, and uh, you uh, you can make an additional. Uh, the coordinate transformation uh, separately for x and for y to reduce this function to, to, to nicer form. So uh, obviously you can change x in such a way that this function will be basically just the power of x uh, plus uh, some constant. Not uh, the same for so for g. Uh, typically, if uh, the differential of this function of this eigenvalue f is not zero, then you can just replace it with uh, uh, with x, uh, and just declaring f of x to be a new variable. Look at the standard trick. Uh, in the case of two complex conjugate eigenvalues, uh, situation is uh, similar. You can reduce uh, l to to this form. So what you see here. <laughs> that's uh, a matrix with two complex, that's sort of canonical uh, Jordan block with com complex eigenvalue. Uh, uh, so what is special about uh, these functions f and g? Uh, if we uh, introduce complex uh, coordinate uh, x plus i uh, the y, so what, uh, this is z. Uh, then uh, this complex function, so f plus ij, must be holomorphic. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, the the simplest uh, situation of uh, of our so generalized uh, Nirenberg uh, Newlander uh, theorem here. And again, uh, so if you uh, change uh, this complex uh, coordinate z, uh, you can reduce this function n h to not just to power power uh, of, uh, of z, z uh, to, to n with some constant, of course. And finally, Jordan block. Um, Jordan block, uh, so this is a standard formula in this case. So no, uh, to nothing surprising, no additional conditions. So there, there are the only maybe a point to, 
uh, to emphasize uh, that if you want uh, this matrix to be Jordan block of the standard form, then this function f eigenvalue must depend on the second coordinate only, not, not uh, on x, but on y, and only on y. And again, uh, f uh, can, can be reduced uh, to standard situation now though this is the easy part uh, that's uh, not just to to mention uh, uh, the, the, this possibility and so, so this is generic situation uh, uh, singular points where and so I can values collide uh, it means so that uh, at uh, the point we can see there so this point is singular uh, so this point is uh, therefore Jordan block. Uh, uh, with a certain eigenvalue lambda, but uh, this lambda, the value of this number lambda is uh, is not important. You can always uh, subtract lambda identity from L and reduce the situation to the case when at uh, a given point we have nilpotent Jordan block. So I will assume that up to this uh, transformation, I, I will assume that uh, at a given point we to have a Jordan block. And therefore, uh, the, the problem uh, we, we are trying to, to resolve is, uh, is just description of all possible Menhuis perturbations of, uh, of Jordan block in dimension two. So how to deal with this? Uh, so which instruments we are going to use? Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's look at uh, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial of our operator. So we will have two functions. So V uh, and uh, U, so, so V is a trace. I will always use, uh, I will keep this notation uh, in my lecture all the time. Uh, and U is its minus determinant. Here, not uh, this is just some, some convention uh, in order for the first uh, column uh, in uh, the companion form to be just VU. Uh, okay, uh, so, the, 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 so then uh, uh, there are uh, essential, two essentially different possibilities. So the first possibility is, uh, is possibility is when uh, these two functions, uh, V and U are, mm, are dependent on each other. So in the sense uh, that uh, their differentials are proportional at every point. Uh, and uh, so there's a, a situation when the, uh, the, these uh, two functions are uh, independent everywhere except for some singular points, almost everywhere on open and dense uh, set. Uh, it makes sense because uh, so we consider real analytic case. In the smooth case, uh, that's, uh, this condition uh, may not be valid. So uh, uh, these two functions are independent almost everywhere, uh, but not everywhere. Uh, if uh, in, the, the, in, in this case, when they are independent, uh, I can use my magic formula to reconstruct my operator L, so not just uh, so by, by using so this trick. If I know V and U, I can reconstruct L in any coordinate system. Uh, uh, the, the problem is uh, this invertibility. Uh, I will have to divide by the determinant, which is zero at some points, but it is generically, it is not zero. So I will get a certain expression uh, with a denominator, but uh, the, 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 you know, some, some miracle should happen. So denominator should, should, should cancel out. Uh, so this formula so holds true uh, and by, by continuity, I will be able to extend uh, the, this formula to those points where, <laughs> where I have to divide by zero. So still the, this, by continuity, this formula so should uh, the, the work. Um, <clears throat> uh, and uh, yeah, so you see that this remark. So then, uh, uh, if you if you do this computation, you, you will get uh, a certain explicit form for L. But it it is much better to to just to look at the formulas for U and V. They, they are simpler, and that's what we are going to do. And this is, by the way. 
the, uh, the, uh, this is uh, that we believe kind of general principle. So that it is much uh, easier and it, it's conceptually that's what we need to do. We need to describe uh, to uh, eigenvalues uh, uh, of uh, our operator as uh, smooth or real analytic functions. So then they, uh, these functions uh, should have the very special kind of singularity and uh, we uh, so basically, so what we're doing, we are trying to describe, uh, uh, so, so to say, uh, admissible singularities for the characteristic map, map uh, defined by uh, by means of the coefficients of characteristic, characteristic polynomial. Okay, uh, if uh, uh, the trace and the determinant are uh, uh, dependent at uh, each point, so uh, the, the dv of h du is identically zero, so then of course uh, previous form formula makes no sense, no, but uh, still the, so let us compare so these two formulas, I will just multiply by uh, this Jacobi matrix on the left and on the right, uh, and I will get uh, uh, this expression, which holds true uh, in any situation. So we, we, we don't need to divide uh, the, by, by zero here. So this uh, formula still holds true, and uh, we will use it uh, uh, in uh, in this uh, uh, little bit more special situation. Okay, and uh, so what else? Uh, uh, some some uh, conventions. Uh, that we uh, that we'll assume that uh, the point P where we do this uh, description. So this is just the origin of our coordinate system, uh, and the coordinate transformations we uh, we uh, are going to apply. Uh, so they uh, always leave uh, the origin fixed. Uh, and uh, here is uh, just the theorem on the next slide uh, that we, which gives description of all possible normal uh, forms. Uh, the, there are many of them and we divide them into several so series. Uh, first, uh, the series uh, the L, M and uh, M. Uh, the first situation when it is just a Jordan block everywhere. Uh, with uh, constant eigenvalue, eigenvalue zero. That's, that's a very simple situation. Uh, the second situation, and D stands here for uh, non-degenerate, differentially non-degenerate. So if uh, uh, the, this perturbation is uh, generic, differentially non-degenerate, then you can reduce uh, L to that's a very simple companion form like this. Uh, the series uh, so M in uh, with the odd and even a slightly different, not just because uh, of uh, uh, the, the, this is uh, the plus epsilon this is plus minus. Uh, so, so if you uh, if you have uh, if you, you if you if you 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 have y to the, the even powers uh, odd powers so the sign is not important if uh, the in uh, uh, even powers so then the, the eigenvalues may have maximum or minimum and uh, the no, that it makes sense to distinguish these two situations. So the, in, uh, in this case, uh, the one eigenvalue is zero. So the answer so here so changes. Uh, the, uh, this situation, no, this situation so we have already discussed actually. So this is uh, still uh, the uh, algebraically generic case at the, each point. Uh, so we have just a Jordan block. Uh, 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 and the, these are easy cases, and the complicated cases are so as follows. Uh, as I uh, told you, what I will use this magic formula, and that will provide uh, uh, the description for the trace and for the determinant. After this, uh, the, the operator itself uh, so will be reconstructed in this way, um, and uh, if I substitute. 
uh, v and u from the formulas, which now will appear on the screen, uh, then uh, there will be some division by zero at uh, several points, but uh, several points, yeah. No, but uh, the, 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 the zero will cancel out. And uh, as a result, uh, L will be very good uh, expression and also notice uh, that uh, the, the formulas uh, uh, I, I'm going to show you are polynomial so v and u are polynomial functions and uh, uh, and uh, our operator l is polynomial so to, by the way uh, 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 in my uh, pre-recorded lecture two I explained that uh, companion form it, it's something very uh, uh, convenient and uh, good but uh, yeah it, it is true but I would say th to, to do theory to develop theory so that's a very good theoretical tool tool but uh, so in practice it might not be very convenient because uh, these functions in the the first column of companion form are not polynomial uh, however, you can change your variables uh, in such a way that uh, your matrix uh, will stop to be companion, but uh, it will become polynomial. So and then here is uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the complete description. Uh, no, just uh, the, I, I want to briefly comment on on this. So, so the U is. Uh, uh, is determinant of L. So we can always find the coordinate system such that uh, the determinant is just the power of the second uh, uh, coordinates. And uh, this is true in not all the cases here. So then uh, the trace, what about the trace? Uh, I can find uh, the X, the, the first coordinate, uh, the such that uh, the trace will be you know, just a polynomial with uh, uh, some conditions on the coefficients, for instance, alpha here, and uh, the C uh, zero here. So these two guys are dependent uh, and are related in a certain way. No, but anyway, so this is uh, the complete description. All these series are so infinite uh, and uh, even depend on uh, some uh, continuous parameters, coefficients of this polynomial. So if, it's, if you for, if you change this uh, the coefficient, so then uh, the uh, these nine Harris operators you obtain will not be equivalent to each other. So this uh, yeah, so this is a complete description. So uh, so once again, so there are. Uh, it's a rel relatively simple cases and uh, you know, three kind of advanced uh, cases. So how to how to prove this uh, theorem? Uh, I, I will try to, to to just to give some some ideas how this uh, that can be done. It, it is. Um, it, uh, is it easy or not? No, we spend uh, a lot of time to to come to, to the final result uh, when you kind of you, you, when you do not know what uh, the final answer so should be so you have no prediction it's quite uh, it's, it's not, not clear what to do and what is uh, the, the best way to uh, uh, to the final result but uh, uh, as long as uh, the, the final result is obtained uh, so then the, the way to uh, to, to, to this conclusion is rather natural. Uh, it, it consists, uh, the, this way consists of uh, several steps. And uh, the, the first is, uh, is this result here. You can always uh, find the coordinate system such that the determinant of, uh, uh, of your operators will be no either identically zero or, or just the power of uh, y, uh, the, uh, uh, the second coordinate. Uh, and th this is something surprising. And by the way, so this is true for GL regular operators in any dimension. Uh, 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 I, I repeat that uh, we, uh, we we are talking about two singular situations where uh, the, the 
the determinant of health, uh, it's a function of so having singularity. And so we know what, uh, uh, the, what the typical singularities are for smooth functions. So it's, it's a more singularity, it's like, like x squared plus y squared, something like this. Uh, it, in this situation, it is impossible. So GL regularity forbids uh, uh, this sort of uh, singularities. So it, 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 it is sort of, it's function of two variables uh, a priori, but uh, it appears to be, function of one variable. So it, it's something very special. And this is the ninth Hughes property, of course. Uh, the why is that? Um, because uh, uh, because of the following. So, and then the, we, we are going to use uh, the companion form here. Uh, the, we uh, uh, reduce, uh, we know that companion form exists. We uh, reduce uh, our operator L to the companion form, and then uh, the uh, coefficients in the first column are exactly trace and determinant, and we know that uh, they satisfy a certain system of PDs, and uh, the one of uh, uh, these PD equations is, is like this, uh, and this equation for the trace. The derivative, uh, the derivative, uh, uh, let me see. So uh, this, uh, uh, there is typo here, sorry. So it's a partial derivative, not with respect to X, but with respect to Y. U Y equals uh, some function uh, multiplied with U. And this function is, uh, the, is something to do with the trace. But uh, if you look at this equation, you see that it's very simple. In terms of U, this is not PD, but OD, uh, so Y, uh, this is important coordinate and X uh, serves as a, as a parameter. Uh, you, you can solve this equation and uh, when you solve it, you, you will see that uh, you can always, uh, so if either U is uh, uh, non, um, uh, non degenerate in the sense that the differential of u is not zero. But if it is zero, then you can always uh, uh, take a square root of, of it. Uh, in other words, you, you, you will exactly uh, up to coordinate transformation, you will see that the determinant uh, has uh, the required form. So that's, that's one idea. So the second idea. So the, 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 the uh, still I want to point out one uh, one thing. Uh, you you may think that uh, the, what we are going to solve uh, the system of uh, uh, of PDs because uh, so to we so to describe uh, all. Uh, uh, all, all the possibilities, what we need to do, we, we can simply take a companion form, then so we have two functions of so satisfying certain PD, and that we can analyze solutions to this or solve this system, or so, so some, to do something of this kind. But that's not what we're going to do. We are not going to solve uh, uh, the, the, any sort of PDs, but we are going to use these PDs to, um, to describe some, some properties, basic properties of solutions, like this one, for instance. So we, do, we, we don't care what uh, the explicit formula for uh, the determinant is, but uh, we see that this function is like this. It behaves in this way, and after this, we change our coordinate system. To, to make uh, the, the uh, for formula for uh, this function to be as simple as possible. Of course, uh, this, uh, this completely destroys uh, the PD system we were uh, talking about, we started with. We change coordinate system, then uh, this, uh, the system of PDs uh, that doesn't make uh, any sense anymore. No, no but it, 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 it's not important. Uh, we, uh, we, we are going to just to, uh, to I, I don't know if it is, uh, 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 if uh, the, this uh, the problem uh, it is, 
is uh, standard or if it is uh, it appears in uh, other situations but uh, we yeah, we do we analyze uh, the uh, solutions of a certain system of all these but up to arbitrary recording the transformations that's what we're doing and the next step uh, will be as follows so now we choose uh, the second coordinate uh, y such that uh, the formula for the determinant uh, is uh, is very nice and the second the uh, transformations we are going to apply is the following so i will now i will uh, keep uh, y fixed and will only change x uh, and uh, i will change it in such a way that uh, the, the one component of uh, my metric cell so this component l well one two no which corresponds to number one in the jordan block uh, that I want it to be uh, equal to one identical. So that's what I want to do. Uh, uh, this again, so this can be done and this is not uh, so difficult. You, you just, uh, the, you look for uh, uh, this change of variables uh, leading to this, uh, this value for the, this component, you just, uh, use a standard coding transformation and you, you will see that uh, you, you can uh, indeed you can find uh, such function g uh, so this function so should just satisfy the system of uh, of pdes and you, you it's koshe kovalevskaya type you you can find a, a solution you, you don't care what the solution is so you only need uh, this solution to exist and uh, after this uh, the, you uh, you consider uh, uh, just case by case so all, uh, all possible so situations but not like like what uh, 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 so first uh, the, you assume that uh, both trace and the determinants are identically zero then of course so this is just uh, the standard uh, nilpotent jordan block so next you uh, assume that uh, determinant is identically zero the trace is not uh, then the, the one of uh, eigenvalues uh, is zero and uh, uh, you 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 will come after some additional computations uh, that uh, this is exactly m series next uh, you assume that uh, uh, the uh, trace and uh, uh, the determinant itself is not identically zero but uh, the uh, trace and determinant are uh, uh, dependent functionally dependent identically uh, everywhere uh, so then the, you you will use uh, the the the, uh, the uh, no, no, some uh, you 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 are you, yeah you, you assume that your determinant is uh, is reduced to the canonical form already uh, this coefficient uh, equals one and uh, then the, you apply uh, to a simple general criterion so i mean that you write down the this formula so which relates uh, the determinant of the trace and the, uh, the differential of the trace and differential of uh, the determinant uh, by means of the adjugate matrix and you you, you will see that uh, uh, so these are exactly the series series n um, um, uh, if uh, you assume that uh, the uh, these two function determinant and trace their differentials uh independent at the given point but uh, this means uh, differential non-degeneracy and uh, you will have differentially non-degenerate case and uh, the uh, the most um, uh, complicated case is when uh, this differential is zero at the given point but in the neighborhood it is not and then it, it's uh, it, it, it it's more complicated and it, it, but still you need uh, just uh, to, to analyze uh, so 
uh, assuming that uh, the determinant has uh, already special form, you need to analyze the local behavior of the trace. And then, then after some change of variables, you will see that the trace also has uh, the, the, sort of very simple form, so can be reduced to uh, this simple form, and after which you need to you know, just to understand what uh, this polynomial P of S is uh, in order for this kind of miracle to happen. But, uh, the remember, some, so there should be some constellation of uh, of the denominator, so we, we divide by zero, but uh, the, in reality, this doesn't happen. And, uh, and this is algebraic uh, condition. And if you do it, uh, so this uh, job uh, 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 very carefully, you, you will come to uh, this series Q, P, and S. So the, this will give you uh, the, 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 the proof and the, the local description of uh, all points. So what next? So after we, so we have this description. Next, uh, so that we will be able to describe the singular set. So those points where uh, the eigenvalues uh, were collide. The singular set, uh, in this case, um, uh, collision of eigenvalues, it means that the discriminant of this quadratic characteristic polynomial is zero. Uh, uh, since we, do we have, uh, explicit express, expression for both, for u and v, it, we just can see what uh, what's going on. And uh, if you um, see what happens in all the cases, uh, then you will see that some of them, uh, the, the, which correspond to just Jordan blocks. Uh, so then, of course, uh, uh, the discriminant is zero, but it is identically zero. It's it's okay. So it, it it's it's not singular. Uh, so we have Jordan block everywhere. Uh, for uh, non-degenerate situation, the singular set is is a parabola. Also, so in the, the nice uh, the, the formula. And for for all the other cases, uh, this is just a straight line y equals zero. Uh, it, it's a sort of uh, the trivial, but no, no, but it, it's already, it, it gives us some information. Now to imagine that you have a, uh, you, you have a closed manifold and uh, you ask this question about, so what is the singular set on the, the kind of global structure? No, obviously, so this is a zero curve. Now, what we see from, uh, from this, uh, the, the, we see that this, this curve is regular. It has no singular points like cusps or whatever. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's very good, it's a regular curve. And, uh, and therefore, uh, in, uh, uh, in the, the general case, if you have a, a closed manifold, so a singular set will be just the union of uh, several regular curves uh, which do not intersect. So, that, so this is uh, any, uh, any intersection are now completely forbidden. And moreover, so if you assume that M is compact, uh, then uh, each of uh, these curves uh, is also compact. So they must, uh, must be circles, uh, disjoint circles on, uh, on our uh, manifold. So what else can we say about the singular set? Of course, uh, uh, if, if you have uh, just one particular circle from this collection, uh, the types of uh, uh, points on this circle uh, are the same. So if it belongs to the series Q, then so all points belong to, uh, to this series. But uh, there is uh, the one interesting observation. If you uh, the, the consider so this line, so then of course all points belong to Q, uh, but uh, the, in this uh, series Q, so there are uh, the, the parameters, uh, the parameters, uh, the coefficients of um, uh, continuous parameters. And these continuous parameters, so they do change from point to point. And, uh, and then you will see the, some kind of surprising things. So then uh, so one of them so will change continue, uh, will change uh, the, the monotonously. So this function is if you look at one direction, the, this parameter all, always uh, in, uh, increases. It, it changes in monotone way. It means that so you cannot go back. 
to your initial point. And the uh, meaning that uh, uh, such uh, singularity is forbidden on closed manifold. And the final conclusion is uh, that uh, in the uh, on, on the closed manifold, uh, um, the two dimensional so the manifold, uh, the, uh, the, we have only two, two possibilities. So either so there are no singular points at all, or uh, singular points where they exist, but uh, they, uh, they, they, you remember, so there are several series, but only one series is uh, allowed on uh, uh, on closed manifold. So this is so-called M series. M series is when uh, one of eigenvalues is uh, constant and this is equal to zero. So the, the situation becomes much, uh, much, much better. So the, the, all these uh, uh, the, the complicated uh, singularities, which sort of, they look to be rather, Rather, um, uh, the natural, so they uh, they are forbidden on closed uh, the, the manifolds. And after this, uh, so when we understand uh, uh, so what's going on, we uh, so we can move uh, a little bit further and uh, try to construct examples of uh, the GL the regular operators on uh, uh, the closed uh, two-dimensional manifolds. So, now, for instance, uh, take a torus. Uh, on the torus, uh, so to, uh, let's consider three examples. Maybe the, the simplest one is uh, this one. Uh, we, we just take uh, operator diagonal, which has diagonal form in uh, uh, usual angle uh, coordinates phi, y, uh, phi one and phi two, and uh, choose uh, just arbitrary functions uh, f and g, no such that uh, such that uh, uh, f and g are different uh, everywhere. A collision so doesn't happen. Or you can uh, consider uh, again in uh, some. Uh, coordinates, angle coordinates, phi y and phi two. And the situation when uh, one of eigenvalues is zero, so then the, you, you will get, well, this is uh, M series actually, so singularity which corresponds to the M series. Or so you, you can do the following, uh, take just two arbitrary uh, vector fields, uh, xi and theta on the torus, which are linearly independent everywhere. So then the, the, there are many situations. Some of them are not uh, as simple as just uh, uh, parallel and meridians. So it could be something more complicated. Uh, so the only condition is that they are linearly independent. So then the, the we define our operator just in this way. So we say that xi is an eigenvector with eigenvalue lambda one, and theta is uh, the eigenvector with eigenvalue lambda two. Lambda one and lambda two are different. So the, you will get an operator uh, which is nine hertz. Uh, in the in dimension two, by the way, uh, every operator uh, with uh, constant eigenvalues uh, is nine hertz. Uh, the, the, what it looks like. The, 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 the first example, it's very easy. So this separators and this is uh, the, what you see here. The, uh, these are two, uh, uh, oops, two I, I, eigenvectors. Uh, the, the, the coordinates, uh, they define uh, this eigenvector. So you can slightly perturb this situation uh, to by using uh, some some sort of uh, covering map, uh, so so that uh, uh, so you see that, that you, you can glue uh, that uh, torus not out of the square but also out of pa parallelogram. This, this will slightly change um, uh, this uh, the picture. By the way, so this uh, the, uh, that in our uh, original papers, we didn't notice so that uh, this uh, situation so can be perturbed in this way. And that was observation by Jenny Antonov, who is, I hope, uh, attending uh, this uh, conference, and he is a PhD student on Vladimir currently. So that's a nice observation. And uh, so this is an example of uh, two 
uh, linear uh, vector fields which are linearly independent everywhere, and you see that uh, the, the the picture it's uh, it's called uh, rib vector field, I guess, uh, or uh, rib uh, foliation on the torus. Uh, you, 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 you can, yeah, you can uh, produce uh, the, the more complicated examples. So then, so though you can also, you can play a little bit with Klein bottle in the same way, uh, because uh, Klein bottles also can be obtained uh, as, uh, as a quotient of the torus with respect to Z2 action. And if, uh, the, my examples on the torus uh, are, are invariant with respect to the Z2 action. Then you will get uh, the corresponding examples on clean bottle. What, uh, that's what is written on the, uh, uh, this slide. Uh, uh, on, the, on the torus, uh, you, you can uh, uh, produce examples which give uh, uh, Jordan block everywhere, and uh, this example. So there are two two series uh, uh, actually that uh, nil potent uh, uh, example where the vector fields so can behave in uh, in a complicated way. Uh, but if uh, the eigenvalue is not uh, constant, uh, so then it's it is uh, so this example is very simple. So like this. Uh, and then now to, we can uh, uh, summarize uh, so the, the, what we, we can do uh, in, uh, in the theorem. So now there are these are examples, but behind uh, these examples, not, not, not behind, no, but it's after these examples, uh, there comes uh, the, the, the following the theorem. Uh, if uh, you have uh, Two-dimensional so the manifold and the nine hertz operator, the GL regular nine hertz operator on it. So there are only several possibilities. And the first possibility is just uh, the complex structure. So you can take complex structure uh, on the two-dimensional orientable manifold uh, with a certain coefficient beta, and uh, you can add. Uh, uh, identity also with a uh, certain coefficient. Uh, so next, uh, M2 uh, is either torus or Klein bottle, and you have two distinct three Langen values uh, everywhere. Or so M is a torus and uh, the L is similar to Jordan block at each point, uh, uh, or uh, uh, the M is homeomorphic to a Klein bottle or torus, and that one of uh, eigenvalues uh, the constant. And that I, I gave the list in our paper. Uh, the, this list of examples uh, the was the, 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 there was a conjecture that uh, this list is uh, is complete, and uh, the, this uh, seems to be the case. Uh, uh, the, 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 there was. Uh, the, 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 the paper of uh, Jenny Antonov on, uh, on, on this subject, which now it seems to be that this conjecture is now proved, but uh, still uh, uh, we are waiting for a complete version of, uh, of this paper. And uh, so to summarizing, we, we believe that we uh, do have a reasonable uh, global classification of uh, GL uh, regular operators on two dimensional uh, surfaces. And there is a corollary. Uh, so if um, M2 is orientable and different from the torus, so then the, the only possibility uh, uh, for the GL regular operator is complex structure and uh, nothing else, no plus identity. Uh, if uh, M is uh, non-orientable and the different from Klein bottle, so then the M uh, admits no GL regular non-hue separators at all. So that's, uh, there are uh, topological abstractions for existence. So the two uh, last slides, I'm not going to discuss them, but uh, that I, I will put uh, the, uh, my presentation on the conference website. So the, this is a sort of short uh, proof of or sketch of the proof for this uh, classification, global classification theorem. Uh, uh, so I stop here. Thank you for your attention.
you very much, Alexei. So are there any questions? Alexei, could I ask a quick technical question? So uh, this argument uh, um, that um, if you have a closed curve, your CK cannot increase, well, it's yeah. shifted by some fixed thing. So, so this means that all these CKs and all the other constants, they are differential, they are invariants, right? That's right. Yes, exactly. But I did mention that uh, the, 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 there is kind of a uniqueness result. So uniqueness, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So potentially you can come up with some other corner, but still with the same CKs, or yes, well, maybe sure. not. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Yeah, yeah, of course. So the uniqueness mm -hmm. result is essential, mm -hmm. but uh, we have it. And okay. even I, I had the slide uh, in my presentation previous presentation on this subject and I removed it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, but thank you for noticing this point. Yeah. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. Well, I had a related question actually. Your argument that these cases cannot occur was that the CK was monotone, right? I think, and then yeah. it would change. But how about the CK is just constant? Why can't they just all be no, actual no, that, Look, 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 the CK is not a function. No, no, no. That's a, once again, that, uh, let, let me point it out. Uh, uh, every, uh, you take a singular point, right? And uh, the, the, the statement is uh, that uh, this uh, singular point uh, that belongs to a certain series of singularities. And uh, to each singularity, uh, it, 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 it's very important that this point uh, is supposed to be fixed. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of, it's considered as an origin. So then each singularity is characterized by uh, certain uh, uh, parameters, uh, parameters of two kinds, so discrete parameters and continuous, like plus minus or the K, but there are uh, continuous parameters. So C1, C, K. So these are coefficients of, uh, of a polynomial. So these are, it's not the functions, but these are numbers. It's just numbers. Uh, no, but these numbers, so they, they, they vary if you move uh, along this uh, singular uh, curve. So if, for instance, uh, if at this point, uh, the number uh, CK uh, the equals uh, so one, then so if you move a little bit uh, further along this curve, it will be one plus epsilon. It's, it's, okay. It's, well, it's, okay, so that's, but that's extra information, I guess, or that. Don't, you, you, you may say- but Why could it not be the same? So. No, no, uh, no, because uh, the, 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 look, let me say it in this way. Yeah, I, I, I think it, it will be clear now. Uh, we have uh, the, the, this kind of complete description. So we know that uh, this number C at the given point is, is for this C. So for instance, equals one, yeah? No, but uh, our uh, description in the neighborhood of this point. Yeah, so, so it gives formulas not only for this point, but for all neighboring points. And in particular for the points which belongs to this uh, the, the singular line. And you know, so if you know that uh, the, the value of uh, this number equals to one at this point, you can compute it uh, in all neighboring points. You know, you can compute this number. Because uh, this, uh, uh, so you, you you know what happens uh, at this point and uh, everywhere else, and you compute it, and you will see that it, it is if if at all the other points it is uh, c plus epsilon. No, it's, it's a matter of computations. It, it's, uh, it is uh, it, it, you see it. Yeah. You see that uh, this number varies. That was, uh, 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 I, I have to say, that very surprising uh, observation for us. And also, uh, so this uh, the, this uh, shows uh, that uh, this geometry and then his geometry is rather different from uh, um, fr from what uh, we usually observe in the other so subject. No, for instance. Uh, if you uh, 
uh, the, 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 the one to understand the singularities of vector fields. So the, the, there are some, some typical singularities like elliptic and hyperbolic. And of course, it goes without saying that they appear in kind of uh, typically in all uh, the, all the systems, doesn't matter if your manifold uh, is closed or not, uh, they, they always appear. They, if, uh, if they are uh, typical, so they will appear everywhere. But here the situation is, is, is just opposite. Uh, on closed manifolds, uh, you should expect uh, only very, I would say uh, from local point of view, very non-typical singularities, typical are forbidden. I was wondering, uh, but I mean, or connecting back to um, projectively equivalent geodesic flows, right? So now your your statement is that uh, let's say on S two, you only have this simple case alpha times the identity plus beta. Yeah. yeah. So the and, and so it, does, it, it, does that a, limit the number of projectively equivalent flows? No, 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 no. look, uh, no, that's, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, interpret the situation in this way. It simply means that uh, if, you, if you discuss geodesic flows, then uh, so when uh, the, uh, so there are nine Huss operators, of course, related to them, and the uh, collisions of eigenvalues uh, uh, may, uh, may, may happen, but uh, the basically, so the, this discussion leads to the following conclusion. If eigenvalues uh, collide in the context of uh, geodesically equivalent matrix, then the Jordan block does not appear. And so at least if they collide, this is singularity, it will not be gel uh, regular. But, but that's also, it's a very nice conclusion. I see. And then the obvious question is, of course, uh, high three dimensions. I mean, I yeah, understand that uh, in three dimensions you can have two Jordan blocks. I guess that's one problem. But yeah, uh, uh, no, the, 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 what I the, what I can say uh, to my uh, I, I'm uh, I'm quite optimistic about this. So, so first of all, uh, uh, no, no, but. Uh, uh, no, I do believe that uh, we will be able to to do local classification in 3D, and and then of course uh, we will understand uh, what happens with singular set. That, 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 no, no, but uh, so there, there is one point to uh, to mention, and in dimension two, the singular set is just uh, it's. Yeah, so on, only two eigenvalues may collide, and uh, and for the, and this is the reason why this is kind of so simple. It's just one. Uh, in uh, in three D, the situation will be different because uh, I would expect that uh, the, the singular set uh, the, typically it's going to be a, a, a two dimensional surface in three dimensional space. But if three eigenvalues collide. So then the, 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 there could appear some sort of, I would say, two-dimensional surface and one-dimensional line intersecting this surface. So, so the, the global structures that will be uh, more complicated. Because uh, you know, here, uh, the basically, uh, the, what, what I did in this proof, I said that, um, so if eigenvalues collide, I can always assume that uh, the, uh, this eigenvalue is zero. In 3D, I won't be able to, 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 to do this trick because so if they collide uh, two of them and uh, maybe then three of them, so I should distinguish uh, so mm -hmm. these cases. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, uh, I, I, I have no uh, prediction uh, at, at the moment at about what uh, the, the we should expect in 3D. Of course, uh, uh, the, it, it, it's sort of, it's almost clear to me that uh, there will be very strong topological abstractions to uh, the existence. Uh, the typical, typical three-dimensional manifold will not admit any uh, GL regular nine-phase operator. Then that's I'm pretty much sure. 
Yeah, but uh, that it needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, that, that we, that, so that in, in our kind of plans for the future, uh, there is, of course, uh, this point of how to do it in 3D. You said that the typical um, three manifold will not admit um, this structure at all because of topological considerations. Can you just say a little bit more about that as to how you can see but, that? Uh, no, but look, uh, no, 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 let, me, let me say it this way. I don't know if it, it will sound convincing or not. Uh, in, uh, in dimension two, uh, no, if you if, forget about the, the, this theory and try to construct an example, uh, then so to what uh, to what you will see, uh, the uh, no, you 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 will see that uh, there are eigenvalues, right? Eigenvalues. Uh, these are smooth functions on your manifold, and the, the moreover, so singularities. Uh, uh, which uh, we, we discussed. So they say that, that the singular points with, uh, for eigenvalues are very simple. So for instance, uh, the hyperbolic singularities like x squared plus y squared for eigenvalues are forbidden. So, they, so the singularities must be basically of the type, uh, so uh, the y here, power m, something like this. So it's, if you look at the, uh, the level surfaces, so they're very simple. So this is, you, you will have uh, the almost uh, kind of uh, trivial um, uh, fiber bundle uh, into circles. And this may only happen on the torus and clean bottom. In, uh, in 3D, so we should expect uh, something similar. So to, to, it, 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 it has, if you look locally, it, it, it has a very simple structure of um, just uh, three affiliations, so it's one dimensional affiliations, the three commuting vector fields everywhere, all, and they are defined almost canonically, no up to proportionality. Uh, uh, and uh, this structure is not globally defined on the whole manifold, but uh, so that when you kind of approach singularities, you, you do it in a very simple way. And uh, and this can be, I hope, can be topologically controlled. And the, uh, uh, and as a result, you will see that your three-dimensional manifold uh, can be obtained by gluing together quite simple pieces. So usually, so that when we do this ge geometric. Um, decomposition in terms of uh, Thurston, it's a way to use uh, rather uh, complicated pieces. Like, uh, for instance, you can take hyperbolic piece or Seifert manifolds. And, but the, 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 but in, in this case, you can only take so something like maybe torus, so solid uh, tori, torus, for instance, or the pieces are much simpler, let's say. And uh, maybe I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the final result uh, will be sort of almost uh, trivial. No, but, but on the other hand, uh, what we know is if you take uh, uh, soul manifold, soul manifold, it's uh, topologically it's rather non-trivial. No, but, but on the other hand, it, it's uh, it's non-trivial, but uh, it uh, it is. Uh, it is a fiber bundle of a circle with torus uh, as a fiber. Non-trivial, but still, so there is uh, this nice structure. And this nice structure allows us to construct a uh, GL regular nine phase separator in this case. So it's not uh, the, the final answer it will, be, will not be the, the, the trivial like torus or Klein bottle. No, there are more examples, but still with special topology. I, I can't say more. It's just, uh, yeah, because uh, it, it's too early to, 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 to make uh, uh, specific predictions. Okay, thank you. Let's thank Alexei again. <laughs> thank you, Alexei. <laughs> and also uh, Vladimir, of course. Uh, I guess this is the end of our lecture series. So thank you very much, both of you, for exciting and uh, engaging lectures.